first and I think importantly is this has just been an incredibly positive and a very encouraging trip for us here in Saudi Arabia. We've been warmly welcomed and uh, and whether we're meeting with the Crown Prince or with yourselves or the, I don't know, seven or eight other meetings we've had, they've all been very, very positive. Uh, the second thing I would say is that uh, the relationship between our two countries is incredibly important. It's a very natural friendship. And it's part of our reason for being here. In fact, the most important reason for us being here is to facilitate that relationship and uh, and to go home and tell our colleagues, uh, and as well as our constituents, people back home, uh, and people, other members of Congress. Let me tell you about the economic revival. Let me tell you about the social change in Saudi Arabia. It's, it's going to be fun to go back and to tell them of some of our experiences. And then finally, I'll just say this, thank you for what you do. It would seem it'd be overwhelming challenge. I don't know if you deal with only Muslim extremism. It turns out there's Christian extremism as well as I think probably some elements of that in most major world religions. It's not something that any of us support. It taints those of us of faith uh, with something that doesn't represent what that faith represents. And, uh, and at the same time, when you see the scope of what you do, it's a global challenge. I don't know how you can how you can possibly every day wake up and not think, well, are we winning or losing this? Because it's a, it's a real challenge, and I, I imagine sometimes you feel overwhelmed by it. But we want to encourage and thank you for doing that, and we want to support you in any way we could.